Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. I'm going to talk about some more cream and cocoa items. Um, during cream and cocoa's uh, birthday sale and a little bit before that, I purchased so many items. I really, really love the company's products. I really don't have any complaints about the products. Um, the only thing for me would be is that I probably wouldn't order during a big sale like that because there were some shipping issues. But other than that, um, everything is fantastic as far as the products go. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to talk uh, mostly about the skincare items that I received from Cream and Coco. Um, and then, um, my experiences with them thus far, um, I've used everything maybe with the exception of the um, Lemon Milk Tony Moisturizer for a lengthy period of time. This I've probably only been using for about a week or two. So basically, um, as far as skincare goes, my skin, I have a video on my skincare regimen which is very, very basic. Um, pretty much I stick to using um, baby wipes pretty much as my exfoliant because um, it's you know gentle but just abrasive enough to get dead skin and things like that off and it's a good way to remove your makeup when you get home too. Um, I cleanse with my Aveeno Facial Foaming Wash. Um, I do have a Pro X um, Spin Facial Brush thing um, which can be used with any soap that um, pretty much uh, by Olay um, but I never actually use Olay products with it. And as far as moisturizer, I have been using the Clinique uh, different moisturizing gel. I think they actually just came out with a new one. This has been a staple product for me for many, 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 many years. Um, and I only at the buying this size. Um, you, this little this stuff goes a long way. I might use it once or twice a day, just two tiny little pumps, maybe even one sometime if I do one long pump. And I only about to buy two of these a year, but they're about thirty dollars. So um, I had heard some things about cream and cocos uh, facial products. Um, as far as my soaps, uh, hair care products, and different things like that, I have been moving towards using more natural products. So um, I just figured I would give them a chance because none of her products are super expensive. Um, some of the fees have gone up on some of the products recently. So we'll just get right into it. Now she has a face uh, set kit you can get. A sample kit that pretty much brings you through the morning routine to the evening routine um, it used to be like I think like $15 or something but now it's 20 uh, where you get a small sample size of the lemon poppy seed cake now this is the full size bar minus about a little bit that I cut off the bottom I individually wrap out my bars because I feel like when they're in the drawer together they start to kind of smell alike so when I receive them you just get them with the wrapper on it but I individually wrap them like within like a like a cellar wrap type thing or some cling wrap or whatever you want to call it and I just kind of cut pieces of my bars off now my bars that I'm going to use on my body I usually cut them in half my facial bars I just cut a slither so this one was wrapped like this so I just cut it right down the line like a, a thin strip and I'll show you my soap dish I have a strip of my morning soap and my evening soap already in my soap dish so they can dry out and um I use these daily and that's been going really really well the lemon poppy seed cake oh my god it smells fantastic now this is one of the soaps that's under the face care line but you can actually use this on your body from my understanding it says freshly squeezed, squeezed lemons grapefruit and their zest are added to this yummy bar for the beneficial of skin brightening and skin clearing property of citrus oils it helps fight acne prone skin and brightens the skin also the honey it kills acne but causing bacteria um I love this soap I love 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 this soap I think I've been using this I think I received these about three or four weeks ago I've been using it. so I cut that small slither off and I'm gonna show you the size of it I kind of took this off the bottom of the soap cut it long ways and I've been using this in the morning and it's not going away really fast so if I keep cutting it off at that rate I'll be able to use this for a long time uh, this bar is about four ounces all the bars are about four ounces and the price is five dollars and twenty five cents now sometimes when she's having the special she has the three for twelve fifty and the seven for twenty five but just on the, um, the regular basis this is going to be five dollars and twenty five cents is worth every bit of five dollars and twenty five cents I will always purchase this bar 
Now, in her kit, it tells you to use this one in the morning. You cleanse with this one in the morning. Your face feels so refreshed after you use it. I just kind of lather in my hand and then I kind of just go in circles, you know, to make sure I get in my pores. And that's the other thing. I have very large pores in my cheek area. And I feel like they're not as pronounced lately since I have been using um, these products. Kind of like this kind of tightening up my pores a little bit. Because usually when I put my makeup on, it kind of sometimes... Um, if I don't do a lot of concealing, which I don't like having a heavy, heavy face just on a daily basis of makeup, um, I'll be able to see those large pores. But it has done wonders for my pouring. Uh, poor problem. <laughs> so that's that. And it just smells so doggone good. Mmm, like cake. Okay. So after that step, you're supposed to use the Lemon Milk and Toning Moisturizer. Oh, the lighting in here is bad, but that's what that is. This comes in four ounces and it prices for seven bucks, I believe. Now, if you get it in the kit, you get a, a two ounce sample of this in the twenty dollars sample kit, where you get a little bit of the soaps and this, um, and you get like a small container of the face buff. But we'll get to that in a second. So you use this now. This actually is a moisturizer with your toner actually in it. Um, I think uh, Calvis, the Crisco Kid, had a video about the importance of toning and using a toner in your skincare regimen. Um, this actually has the toner built into it. So you're moisturizing and toning at the same time. Now, this product I've only been using for about maybe a week and a half, two weeks. Because um, I forgot to purchase it in my order, so I actually purchased it for one of my swap sisters, brand new that just didn't like the smell. On, on swap sack form uh, so I was happy to get that from her now I was very skeptical of this because I like my Clinique so much and I didn't want to part from it because it's been a, a staple this whole time but like I said I want to get into using more natural handmade products or whatever on hair skin everything body so I've been using this and I really really like it now some people said um the smell it's very lemony I like lemon though not lemongrass but lemon <laughs> so this is just like straight up lemon. It doesn't smell like lemongrass. So some people said the scent was a little strong for me, but the thing about it, the scent is a strong lemon scent, but it does not linger very long. By the time I roll it in my skin and move on to the next thing, it starts to fade. So it doesn't stick with you all day having that lemon, that strong lemon smell on your face. Now, a couple of people have also mentioned on Facebook that this burns their face. I will say this. It does not burn my face. It does tingle a bit. And um, that's probably some of the witch hazel and some of the um, uh, uh, litzia in it. But I have found it's all in how you cleanse your face. If you're very aggressive cleansing your face and how you pat dry, because you're supposed to apply this on moist skin. Um, if you dry and hard, if you stick to like a soft pat, you don't get much of that stinging or burning. The other day I was rushing and I was just kind of drying, you know, when I put it on it burned. But so if you're gentle, that will take care of that part for you. You won't have that burning sensation. So that's the next, that's that step. Um, after that, your night part, uh, if you got the mini kit, like I said, I have all the full size items, but there is a sample kit you can get where you get a little bit of each product. The next thing would be that your night soap is the Hawaiian Volcano. Now the Hawaiian Volcano was shaped a little different so I cut a slither of it off the side. Here it is in my dish. This one seems to be melting a little faster than the, um, the lemon poppy seed cake. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have much of a smell to it. It just more smells like most soaps. It smells like soap. I mean I know that may sound weird like Kiana what the smoke uh, soap smell like that regular like fresh you know fresh clean smell that's what the Hawaiian volcano smells like so it's no no, no super different scent like this lemon poppy seed cake you want to eat it almost but this just smells like clean just like soap and it dissolves a little faster than that um, I do like this one also um, I go ahead and take my makeup off with my uh, wipes and it instructs you on the soap that you should do uh, in this instructions if you wear makeup to go ahead and use a makeup remover before cleansing with the Hawaiian Volcano. So I just remove most of my makeup with my baby wipes still because I love baby wipes. And, uh, <laughs> and then I follow with the Hawaiian Volcano soap. Now this soap has the charcoal in it. 
and it says bamboo charcoal detoxifies your skin by absorbing impurities, absorbs excess oil and unclogs your pores. The gentle all vegetable soul cleanses and moisturizes, leaving your skin soft, supple, and pure. I would agree with that. That was very, very wordy. <laughs> But your skin does feel very, very soft after you use this. So soft and moisturized sometimes that I forget to actually moisturize. So what I've done now at night, instead of, um, I don't use the lemon, um, I go ahead and use my Clinique moisturizer, my regular moisturizer at night in conjunction um, with this sometimes. But before I do that, I do use the licorice face fluff. Sorry about that, guys. As I was saying, um, the cream and cocoa licorice face fluff. Uh, the lighting is bad in here. There we go. Um, this is what you would use um, according to the directions in the sample kit. You would use this after the Hawaiian Volcano Soap at night. So this is like a spot um, night treatment. It says... Um, a healing blend of raw shea butter and natural skin lightening extracts that in, uh, inhibit melanin production, tone, and even complexion. Use as a spot treatment nightly for best results. So, this is a full size of the licorice face fluff. She recently reformulated um, this product. So, this is actually the old one because I ordered this in April... March Aprilish, so this is actually the old formula. So I don't really know what the new formula is like. The old formula, you got a full size, uh, which is 20 ml for five dollars and fifty cents. This product is now eight dollars and fifty cents. Um, since it's been reformulated, so I don't know anything about the new version. I'm still using the old version. So after my Hawaiian Volcano soap, I pat dry my face. I take a very very small amount of this product, very small amount, because it is shea butter based, so it's pretty. It's pretty heavy, so you don't need a whole, whole lot. And I do just as it says. I spot treat my my problem areas. So I have some blemishes in here from some old acne, like that one you can kind of see right there. Um, my under eye area with all the allergies and things, sometimes I'm a little dark under the eyes there. A little bit in here and a little bit in here. So that's basically where I use it. Very, very lightly, just in those areas. And then I will use a regular moisturizer. Um, everywhere else. So I am really, really enjoying these face products by Cream and Cocoa. These are going to be staple products for me. So just as like a little add-on, on top of that, I've ordered many of their different soaps and just to avoid to having too many different videos, um, I've tried many of her other soaps. I'm going to go in my soap drawer right here and grab my favorite thus far. Everybody's heard about the different lady Lady Parts soaps, uh, the JJ <laughs> soaps, and she has the pink cookie, and she also has, I think I have one more of those left too, um, the honey pot. These are the two soaps that she makes for your Lady Parts, uh, <laughs> down there, um, cleansing soaps. I really, really like these soaps. I've turned my friends on to these soaps to tell them about them. It really keeps your Lady Parts in check. Uh, <laughs> whether it's regular lady time or that time of the month lady time. So I cut these actually in half. I actually use the pink cookie on my whole body. <laughs> I like the way it makes my skin feel. Um, it even has a nice scent to it to me. Most people describe it as not very fragrant, but I definitely smell something and I like it. Now the honey pot doesn't really smell like much. Um, it's more of a vinegar based, I think, of the two. So, um... More coconut oil, extra cleansing in this one. And this is the one that has the, Mor um, the Moroccan clay in it. So between the two, I've tried the pink cookie. I've actually gone through a whole pink cookie and a whole honey pot. So between the two, the pink cookie is my favorite. So um, this will be the last honey pot that I have. I won't reorder the honey pot. I will always be buying the pink cookie. Um, she put these up the other day that they were back in stock. And within a day... They all were gone. So the next time she actually puts them on, because I had a couple of extra pink cookies, and I passed some on to my girlfriend, so I only have like two full pink cookies, and I'm just almost in a panic, because that's not enough. I want to have more in my reserves to make sure, you know, just in case. I know, because she says she's already started working on her, um, her Black Friday sale, so... Um, yeah, I got to make sure that I keep so now I'm only down to two pink cookies So I'm not feeling very good about that 
So you guys, that's pretty much it um, in a nutshell. Um, the other cream and cocoa products I have, I've tried their Smile Butter. Um, I've tried the Curl for Days. I may talk about that in another video. I feel like this video is lengthy enough at this point. So until next time, guys, bye-bye.